Hello everyone. Welcome to Life Changes IND class. So in this class we are going to see about some online educational video on engineering graphics. So in this series you are having the three levels. It's from basics, intermediate and advanced. So in this series at first in basics we have seven videos. After getting a basic knowledge you will be can obtain the certificate and after completing each level you are obtaining a certificate and overall also that is a certificate for your students. So you can enjoy this class with your own interest. Okay. So at first we are going to get a just basic about engineering graphics. The engineering graphics is a major subject we are studying in our college life and it is playing a major role in our daily life. So that's the thing first we are going to see in the objectives. So objectives to develop the student graphic skill for communication is a major thing. So I already told that it's a major thing. So communication of a material is used because I know the language of English to speak with you and I know my mother tongue to speak with you. But in all over the world where you go to for work or everything but design can speak easily to everyone. So this is the basic thing made the engineering graphics to learn and skill more improve that. So it's easy to express our three things. First concept. What are the concepts we have can be easily evaluated and extended to the next person those who was unable to talk with the same language they have. And next we can tell our ideas by design. Yeah, design is easy to express our idea. If you say by mouth or anything else with the same language person itself they will be unable to get it easily. But if you are going to give a design or something to them they can easily understand and they can easily elaborate the things and come out of that. Next, design of engineering products and it's a major thing. So design to come with the engineering products and every plans and everything that should be come with a perfect layout. So the design plays a major role on that. So there are some more engineering projects and pipelines and building constructions, everything are going on the design of engineering products. So we are using the design in the basic concept to ex expose them in the existing national standards and to the technical drawings because in each standards and each drawings, everything we are seeing in the different ratios and different things in our daily life, BIS, IANS, everything, American standards, everything. But we are going to differentiate with the sum of the standards we have and easily to explain that. So for that the same concept we are using this design in our day to day daily life routine. Okay. So what are the concepts and conventions? So the concepts importance of graphics in engineering application because the basic concept of EG is known as importance of graphics in engineering application. Uh, what is the concept and confusion if you have two marks or anything else you can also mention this, these points. Use the drafting instruments. So in this how to use drafting instruments. We have some more more and everything in drafting instruments which is simple and easy to use it. We will know how, how to handle it. And BIS conversation and specification. What are the BIS specification and uh, conversations we are using. And next what is the size layout folding of drawing sheets we are going to also see about the size and layouts and the folding of drawing sheets what are the uh, drawing sheets we are using how the size how the foldings and how the uh, everything we are going to see in this and at last we are also knowing about the lettering and dimensioning the basic we are knowing to lettering and dimensioning everything will be covered in the basic level itself okay these are the main concepts and convention to be covered in the basic levels okay at next we are going to have a uh, what is engineering drawing. So now we are came to the point what is engineering drawing. So engineering drawing is the language of engineers. Yeah, those who are the engineers they need an engineering drawing. For example, if you are going to build a building, we are take a plan. Wow, how we can build? What is the material? What is the thing? Where should be? Where should be the room? What the things we should keep? Where we can keep the TV? Where we can keep the sofa? Everything will be planned on that. Likewise, this was needed for each and everything. For example, we are going to build a construction of pipeline project or anything else. There also a drawing required. Everything there, there is no things can be done without plan. So that the plan is going to do with the engineers to language that is engineering drawing. So e.g. is the engineer drawing so we are using in that next by mean of engineering drawing one can express the shape size finish etc of the object accurately and clearly 
because if you are planning for building a building or a home for example you can take it just we can have a discussion with our family so we can build a building with a uh, four rooms and we can have some things on that that's all we can build it uh, we can do it but if you not have a plan the buildings will be gone as a straight line it will be looks nice or not if you want uh, or you can as a cross line it will really look nice not we will go for a plan we will make a square or rectangle how much the room should have the diameter length and breadth and everything what are the things we want to do how much steps we should have what are the size of the steps everything should be included in the plan that is the major thing the engineering drawing is playing on that okay and here we are going to see about the methods of expression of the design okay so methods of expression of the design is basically done by this three methods only in our daily life so first one we can know about that is free hand free hand is the easy method we can draw your things with your hands with the boxes and implementing uh, this is the size this is the things what are the things we should have what are the things we should keep here everything can be done by with your hand drawing itself that is the basic thing we are knowing that free hand after that second thing we can say as with hand held instruments what is hand held instrument hand held instruments is a we can say drafter and uh, composers or uh, we can have squares and everything will be coming under the hand held instruments so these are the basic of methods of expression of thing and the finally it was coming to the design we are going for autocad ansys creo kataya and everything designing softwares are playing a major role now the each and every uh, advanced software is also playing a major role so these are the basic methods of expressions so these three methods only depend from the expression of your design so first we are going to freehand after that we are going to done with the hand held instruments and after that we are going for the final by the computer design so these are the basic things uh, what we need to know in our first class about the engineering drawing so in the upcoming classes and everything we are going to have a very basic things and a very good ideas in the basic level with shape descriptions and engineering drawings and equipments are using on that and what are the papers and what are the size example everything will be going to learn in this upcoming classes so in this first level we got us some idea so in upcoming levels we can have a next level okay see you guys in the next class thank you thank you for watching if you want to obtain a completion certificate please click the link to our site sign up and choose the course level it is mandatory to watch all the videos and finish the corresponding quiz within the time limit to unlock the final quiz get you course completion certificate after completing the final quiz of that level happy learning